My name is Gregory Williams. I'm the pastor of the Image of God Church in Christ in Marlow Heights, Maryland. I do thanks uh, God for allowing us to be here one more time as we continue to uh, work our way through these uh, services online. We thank you for being patient with us and working with us as we uh, 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 get better at doing this. Amen. I, I thank God for my wife. I thank God for uh, giving me favor because of her. Praise God. And I thank God for her being with me, praise God, in this journey. Thank God for all the elders and the, and the saints of God that are here, praise God, that uh, are with us to make sure uh, that we get some support, amen. Even though the room is practically empty, we thank God that we are still able to uh, come to you, praise God, even in the virtual uh, world, amen. So y'all prepare yourselves. Make some room. It's okay to shout in your house. You don't have to shout in the church. It's okay to give God praise, praise the Lord, over uh, 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 while you're at home, amen? And it's okay to uh, lift up holy hands. 
Amen. So I thank God for this. Amen. We're going to go today in the message that God gave me. We're going to be coming from the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse uh, 8. 10 and verse 8. And it reads, praise God. But what says this? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? How shall they believe him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher. And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who has believed our report? So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. Amen. The Bible says, yes, they've heard. Amen. For the sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much, Lord God, for this opportunity, Lord God, to spread your gospel from one end of the world to the other, using this social media, using the internet, using Zoom, using telephones, using our computers, using whatever venue that we can to get this gospel from one end of the world to the other. He gave us the great commission to go into all the world and preach this gospel to every creature. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we have been put in a position where we have to do this. And now, Lord, as we do this, Lord God, you help your word to go forth. Let it land in the ears that need to hear it. And Lord God, in the name of Jesus, bless them, Lord God, to have the faith that's necessary to believe in you and then come to you and cry out, save me. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord God, as you fill me with your spirit. Anoint me with the power of your word. I need your help now, Father. Help me to deliver this word. Let me to get it to where it needs to go. And let me speak your truth. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You know, uh, I call that message today is hearing the voice of God. Hearing the voice of God. You know, one of the things about hearing God is that we need to be able to recognize his voice with all the information that's being put out today concerning what God, his will is, his instructions are. We don't always know uh, which one is true. There are conflicting messages that conflict with one another. Then there are some that praise God that coincide with each other. We are the people of God that really need to be able to recognize his voice. You know that Jesus, he told his disciples, praise God, for them to preach this word. And he said, and them that will hear, and he said, that, and be saved and be baptized, he said that, praise God, they will be saved. Amen. The Bible tells us in Mark 16 and 12 through 15. 
And he also tells us that the kingdom of heaven is like a great net. More fish caught using the online network, praise God, than any other method that we ever used. The Bible says that his word can get out much quicker and further than we can from the individual churches. You'll find that in this online experience, we can preach to people across the world, everywhere. And anyone that has an ear, they can listen. Praise God. The Bible tells us that Satan, he's the type of God that he, he calls himself a God, even though he's not a God, but he's the type of, of angel that he said, the Bible says in, in Revelation that he cast out, praise God, a flood, praise God, from his mouth, that he might drown, praise God, the church. The church in itself puts out a message, but sometimes so many different messages can come out, it can drown out or distort, distort the message of the church. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians, there's many kinds of voices, and all of them have a significance. And say that if we don't recognize the voice, we don't know what is being said, nor who is saying it. We only get confused. But the Bible tells us, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. And he says, and they follow me. And so it's very important that, praise God, all the sheep of God, no matter where you are, listen for the voice of God. We have been, our senses have been exercised that we can recognize the voice of God even amongst all these other voices that are coming out. We have been able to discern the voice of good and the voice of evil. The Bible tells us that the great commission, which is to preach the good news, amen? The good news, not bad news, but that Jesus Christ was sent into the world to save sinners, which we all are. And because he sent it into the world, the Bible wants us to understand that God don't want any of us to perish but he sent a way for us all to be saved. Pra praise God. Once our senses have been exercised to recognize the voice of God because we have first started listening to him and then we developed a desire, a thirst, and a hunger for him, we began to listen to him more and then we began to desire to hear him. Amen? And the Bible tells us that it's like a wine taster. The average person can't drink wine and discern the different flavors that is in it, nor the type of fruits used, nor the, the locations where these grapes are grown. But a good wine taster, somebody that has their senses exercised to be able to discern, they can tell you so much about one little taste of wine. The Bible says that when we have tasted, praise God, of this heavenly gift, that's Jesus Christ. When we have tasted of him, that, 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 that Christ who was revealed to us through the preaching and enlightening word, that, that our sins have been remitted and imparting of the Holy Spirit gives us ears to be able to hear what God is saying to us. And knowing this, the Bible says, I have not seen nor ears heard nor enter into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Amen? But the Bible tells us, but he revealed to us the deep things of God. The deep things, the things that we need to know from him. Amen? Even with all of the different voices that are out here, we can discern when God is speaking to us. The Bible tells us, praise God, his, work is, his, his word is quick and sharp and powerful, amen, able to cut through all the clutter that his message can get to those that got an ear that they want to hear. Today, if you will hear his voice, the Bible tells us that we need to stay tuned. In these times that we're living in right now, we need to have our keep our ears open and tuned in to the voice of God because he's going to be speaking. And as he speaks, praise God, we need to be listening. We thank God today for giving each of us a listening ear. Make sure that, praise God, that you ask God to give you ears 
to hear what the Spirit says to the church. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for giving your listeners listening ears that they might hear what your Spirit says to your church. For your Spirit is speaking even amongst all this clutter, but the Spirit says, Lord God, that you love us. And because we know that you love us, you want us to survive. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God.